Welcome to Q&A Friday. Today I have something special for you and there's a reason why I film it now outside. I'm just on a run. I have the following idea. Every Friday I will answer probably around five questions that you guys have in the comments here on my YouTube channel about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And today I'm starting with one question that I got like two or three days ago. I forgot the name but I will put it here into this uh, into the screen and he was basically asking me hey Daniel I have this kind of equipment a GoPro a Phantom 3 I think so a drone and that camera and that camera and that camera so a lot of cameras and he was asking me can I start a YouTube channel based on that gear I want to forward that to one of my favorite creators and that is Casey Neistat and he basically said what camera should you use like many people were asking him when he was daily vlogging what kind of camera should you use and his answer was hi doc and his answer was always use the camera the very very best that you have at your disposal and what he meant by that is if you are at home in your studio and you have a nice camera then use the nice camera but if you are on a run and you just want to create content that is valuable then just use what you have so in that case I'm using my iPhone at the moment and that's on purpose it's windy it's not the perfect quality because many times the reason why we don't start is because we are afraid. We are perfect, like perfect, I don't can't even say the word. I will keep this in. Perfect, perfect perfectionist, perfectionist. My God. Yeah, my brain is still running. <laughs> so we are perfectionists, especially if you don't have um, already the training, the habit of just creating videos. If you do something like I'm doing right now with creating a video every day, I'm not saying that you should do that, but one of the advantages of doing this is that you create a video every single day and because you have the deadline every day you just create you don't care too much i'll give you an example when i found out the hack about davinci resolve on the ipad that you can create uh, that you get access to all pages this was christmas 2022 i didn't want to edit all day i just wanted to give out the value so the value of that content was that you guys could also activate all pages this was this was amazing i just wanted to share that with the world so i didn't care in that moment how to color grade my iphone footage and to be honest in that moment i didn't even know how to use color space in davinci resolve i learned that later and that's my point he was asking me can i create or can i start a youtube channel about agriculture and my point is you don't even need the drones you don't even need the fancy cameras think about any kind of topic story or something that is interesting that you can share with your audience that makes your channel unique so i obviously don't know what you want to share or what your agriculture is about the things that come to my mind is for example to as a start is hey Hey guys, here are five tips how you can make a better soil so that you can grow whatever you want. Just as an example, think about content that is interesting and that is valuable for people who, whatever you want to share, of course. So the point I'm making today is just start, use the camera that you have. You don't even need another camera. If you have a drone, amazing. You have more cameras than me. You can definitely start a YouTube channel. And I saw a couple of amazing channels in the past who used that concept and grew over a million followers. Uh, number one was a guy, and I still don't know if he's still doing this, but he was this guy who was an Uber driver. He only had a camera in his car and he was just basically every Friday night driving around. Uh, if, you, if you guys remember his name, please drop it in the comment. But basically what he did, he was commenting like looking at the footage and then the most interesting parts he took out of that and he was making a voiceover and just commenting on those videos. Sure, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Did my friends put y'all up to this? Someone told me they were gonna throw a threesome at me and... <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and he made amazing videos that were super entertaining, super fun to watch. And there was this other guy, I forgot his name as well, he had a gas station and he only had the security cameras, like two or three in the gas station. And every Friday when he came up with an episode, he was looking at what was going on in the week. And if there was something interesting, a junkie who tried to steal something or whatever, he built a story around that and just posted this on his channel. And he also got millions of views. You gotta have money in your hand to look like a real customer. He looks pretty confused. There's nothing worse than losing money. So he's gonna check all of his pockets. He's gonna double check his pockets, you know, just in case you missed something. Up, oh, I think he found it. It looks or like it's just a couple of weeks ago. I found this guy loaming the guard. Oh, I forgot the names, I'm so bad with names. But the point is, he has a channel, he drives to houses where the garden is super, super uh, ugly, and he cleans up the garden for free. 
and this is basically his hobby. And he has a channel, I think he already reached 800,000, 600,000, I don't remember, but a lot. He just has a GoPro with him, but makes those interesting kind of videos. How's it going? Oh, I don't know. What the hell's going on? I'm just cleaning it up. Do you own this property? Yeah. That was an encounter I've never experienced before. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Spencer with SB Mowing and I have a video for you today. I had a once in a lifetime So the point is, it's not the fancy camera, it's not the cinematic look. All of this, sorry for all the wind, this is now in action. All the fancy stuff, all the gear, is just complimentary. It can help you to look better, obviously have better audio, not something like I have right now. But this is also the reason why I make this video, just put it out and see how the world responds. So I hope this is helpful for you. And I have this idea now that we create a new playlist, a new show every Friday, Q&A Friday about Da Vinci was off. And it works like this. You guys are asking me questions on my channel, preferably here under this video. And next Friday, I pick up those questions and I will answer them. Simple. <laughs> okay, I hope you have an amazing day. And let's see how this video turned out. If you like this format, Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and we'll see us in the next video tomorrow. I'm Daniel. Bye!